All right, y'all, thanks for watching the channel. Today I'm gonna break down the mods and stuff that I've done to my 2023 C8. Here we go. So first of all, this is a 2023 C8 Stingray HTC. It's got the Stingray R cosmetic package. I get questions all the time. That is, it's just a cosmetic package. There's no performance games, I don't think, so. On the exterior, I have done wheels, different colors, aero package, all that sort of stuff. Um, to start here, these are these are made by MRR. These are 19s and 20s. These are their, their E-Ray spec wheels. I, this is in their closest to carbon flash that you can get them. I have loved these. Uh, no spacers necessary at all. And um, the fitment is just amazing. It's flush and perfect. And I, I love that I don't have to run spacers on this. To go along with those wheels, I did the calipers in an acid green, um, have all the other uh, library to match that. Uh, again, I've loved it. Nice little pop of color. All the aero here is done by ACS Composites. Um, their stuff is basically perfect. If I were you guys, I'd suggest it. It's a little bit costly, but the fit is always great. The quality is always great. I love it. Um, carbon fiber winglets here on the rear spoiler. A uh, little, little bit of minimum carbon fiber across the car. Here's the passenger side. You can see the same library and colors and stuff here. I haven't done rotors. I really wish GM would do better rotors on these cars, but I probably will upgrade them shortly. Um, and then here on the front, we get to some other fun pieces. I get questions all the time about the hood um, and these canards here. These are also ACS composite. They're the Z06 style canards for the Stingray. And then this hood, this is a Street Hunter hood. Um, I've had it custom painted to match ceramic matrix gray. It is full carbon fiber, as you can see. It has the wet carbon fiber in the inlets here. A lot of people yell and scream about, oh, these are fake vents. Yeah, okay, cool, take your shit somewhere else. But um, it's full carbon fiber, you can see underneath. It is also carbon fiber, dry underneath, wet on the finish outside. I strongly suggest that the quality on these have been great. A um, couple of fitment things we had to do to it, but it, otherwise it was pretty much perfect. I just added the 2024 HTC window. Um, I love it. I, I want to be able to see the engine a little bit. Um, no, I have not changed the valve covers to match colors, and then I did a carbon fiber engine cover and then did the library on that myself. It took a while, but I like it, we'll see how long it lasts, but kind of a nice little ad. And then on the inside, I have the Paragon carbon fiber steering wheel, uh, carbon fiber inserts, a couple little things here, but pretty standard here on the inside. And then last but not least, my most recent change here, I had the Paragon touring exhaust. I loved it so much. I just wish that the Stingray came with the classic quad tailpipe. They finally released, um, a conversion kit that I am absolutely in love with. The fit on this is awesome, the style on it is awesome, the sound is awesome, um, changes the whole car. And then I also have their carbon fiber insert by the uh, license plate as well. So, love this car. Um, thank you guys for watching. You have any other questions, let me know. Appreciate it. Alright y'all, well that concludes it. There might be a couple things I missed. Uh, ask questions and maybe I can fill in the gaps, but I hope you love the car. Uh, thank you so much for following, liking, subscribing. Keep it up and we'll talk later. Thanks.